YouTube, I'm just going to go over my 2018 Nintendo Game Boy Advance Collection. Um, first up, I'll go over the systems. Um, you probably see my reflection there. Uh, we have a Glacier Pink or Clear Pink uh, original Game Boy Advance. As you can see, the screen is not well lit. This did not have a light. But I also have this one here, a uh, Indigo Purple Game Boy Advance. And this is modded with a backlit, backlight screen uh, that I took from a busted up GBA a, uh, SP 101 system. And this is probably my favorite Game Boy uh, system because I like the feel of the, uh, the layout here. It's not as cramped as an SP, and a uh, much better screen than obviously no backlight. So yeah, those are the two original Game Boy Advances I have. And next I'll go over the Game Boy Advance SPs I have. Uh, this is a NES model. Um, it's not in the best shape, but I did get it for like $7 with a few games a few years ago. Um, yeah, it has the NES look to it. And this is dead. Oh no, it's not. There it goes. Um, that's with no back or front light, and that's the front light. Now, obviously, uh, that's not the best screen for a Game Boy, but again, I have a AGS 101. Uh, these came out, I think, in 2005, a little bit after uh, the DS launched, and obviously that's uh, a much, another much better screen. That's not even fully lit, that is. So when you compare it to the 001, there's no comparison really. Um, yeah, I love the, the AGS 101s. So this is a pearl pink. AGS 101. I'll close this up here. Uh, we have a smoke gray or black AGS 101. Pretty good shape. Uh, I had to fix the, the L and R buttons because they were not working. Uh, so I opened it up and cleaned them out, cleaned out the contacts. And they work fine now, so glad that happened. Um, also had to add new rubber to the the screen because they were busted up. So there you have it. And the last one is a pearl blue, but this is actually a uh, replacement shell. But I did get the sticker off the original and put it on here. Um, came out pretty good. Uh, yeah, so this is a replacement shell with original parts inside. Yeah, it is a 101 though. So that's cool. So I have three 101s and a modded original Game Boy. Jesus, man. Next we have a uh, pretty, I guess, rare Game Boy, they didn't sell too many of these, uh, Game Boy Micro. Um, I actually never found one until like two years ago, and ever since I found like four of them, so. Uh, it has a really nice screen, you can adjust by pre pressing L and then the volume button. So I can go, that's the lowest. And yeah, that's actually, I think it's better than a AGS 101 screen, but it's just so small. Uh, the games look great on here. It's just the uh, hands get a little cramped on here, obviously. 
because uh, the thing's so damn tiny. Uh, it only plays Game Boy Advance games. It got rid of the Game Boy Color and Game Boy game feature that the, the SP and the original Game Boy Advance had. So that's a bummer, but if you played Game Boy Color Game Boy games on here, they would stick out, they'd come out to like here, so it wouldn't look right. Um, so yeah, that's cool. I uh, also have the black one. This is actually a silver one with a black faceplate, and this is a uh, yeah, silver with black faceplate, face and this is a black one with a silver faceplate. You can actually mi mix and match. I also have an extra faceplate uh, camo that you can put right on top there. It looks pretty cool. You can see my big head there. Um, yeah, the scratches on here are not on the screen, it's just the faceplate. So um, You could play without a faceplate, but I wouldn't advise doing that. Um, so yeah, these are cool. They came out after the AGS 101s came out. So those are the Game Boy Micros I own. Now onto some wires and cables I have. This is the link cable. Obviously I have all the chargers for the Game Boy and Game Boy uh, Micro and the uh, SP. Uh, this this one used batteries, so don't need a charger for that obviously. Um, so this is the link cable. You can actually link up four players together and play certain games with only one cartridge. So that's pretty that's pretty cool. Um, then I have the uh, the GameCube to uh, Game Boy Advance Game Link. You can use the Game Boy Advance as a uh, controller on your GameCube to play like Legend of Zelda, Pac-Man, and uh, a certain a few other games. I think Pokemon worked with it too. Uh, it did not work on the micro because it didn't have the right port. Uh, it didn't. I don't think you can even connect two micros together with a game link. It only worked with the SP and the original, so that's unfortunate. Uh, the micro is pretty much a budget system with a great screen, though I might add. Um, so yeah. And I figured I'd add this, the uh, Game Boy Player Startup Disc, so you can play your um, Game Boy Advance games. Actually, every Game Boy game on the TV is like the Super Game Boy, but uh, didn't have like the customizations the um, Super Game Boy did. But you can use this to connect your Game Boy to the GameCube and play GameCube games with your Game Boy Advance on the TV, so that was pretty cool. We got some games now, uh, Power Rangers Wild Force, Dino Thunder, Miss Pac-Man, Rocket Power, uh, Konami Collector Series Arcade Advance, Board Game Classics, let's we'll start off with the not so great ones, but decent titles. Frogger's Adventure, Pac-Man Collection, and Tom and Jerry Infernal's Escape. We got Crash Bandicoot Purple Ripto's Rampage. Is it Ripto's Rampage in Spyro? I don't know. Uh, we got Fire Pro Wrestling. Need for Speed, Spyro, Season of Flame 2, Wolverine's Revenge, uh, Board Games, we got Spider-Man Mysterio's Menace, Super Monkey Ball Jr., Cars, One I got uh, a few days ago, Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, Attack of the Twonkies, Twinkies, Twonkies, whatever. Uh, Crash Bandicoot, The Huge Adventure, Prince, per Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, that's a good one. Pitfall, The Lost Expedition.
Tetris Worlds, Spyro the Dragon, Season of Ice, we got Klonoa, Empire of Dreams, and we got Paperboy Rampage. All right, on to some of the better ones here. Sonic Battle, Sonic Advance, Sonic Advance plus Sonic Pinball Party, so that's pretty cool. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 and 2, Justice League Chronicles, whoopsie, Castlevania, Circle of the Moon, Advance Wars, that's a fun one. Dynasty Warriors, Advance. Gradius Galaxies. Dragon Ball Z, Legacy of Goku. I got Mario Pinball Land. Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories. Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Grunty's Revenge, Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town, and Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I have one of these uh, Game Boy Advance video uh, Nicktoons collection. This does not work on the Game Boy Player. Uh, just play cartoons on your Game Boy Advance, so that was a pretty cool uh, idea from Nintendo. I got some classic NES series games. Dr. Mario. Bomberman. I don't have them all, but Super Mario Bros. And Donkey Kong. Cool th thing about these is you could save your uh, high score and uh, I believe you could save the game. Then we got some Yu-Gi-Oh games because you know, I really enjoy my Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Worldwide Edition, uh, Stay Away to the Destined Duel. That's probably the longest name for a video game. Uh, the Eternal Duelist Soul was the one uh, that got me into Yu-Gi-Oh. It taught me how to play the game, pretty much. Uh, Sacred Cards. World Championship Tournament 2004. Rush F of Destruction, and the Sacred Cards. These two are like the same storyline, I guess. This one was first, this one was the sequel. Uh, Seven Trials to Glory, World Championship Tournament 2005, and Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. You can actually put this in a uh, DS Lite or DS system and uh, add more cards to some of the DS Yu-Gi-Oh games, so that's pretty cool. And then we have Yoshi Topsy Turvy. You turn the Game Boy Advance to move Yoshi, I believe. It's somewhat like uh, Kirby Stilt and Tumble for the Game Boy. So I have this little case for it. Keep it, keep the dust out of it, so that's pretty cool. So Yoshi Topsy Turvy. And now on to my best games that I have. Uh, I keep all my best games in these three game holders, which I really like. Uh, F-Zero, Mario Party Advance, Golden Sun. Great games here. Legend of Zelda, uh, Link to the Past. Metroid Fusion, and Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. You can hear my baby crying in the background. <laughs> She's sad. Uh, very fussy today. Uh, Metroid Fusion is an excellent game. Uh, one of my favorite 2D Metroid games. I have the uh, Donkey Kong Country trilogy here. Uh, this is just remakes from um, the S Super Nintendo versions. Some of the music is a little different and the overworld is changed in some of them. So. Uh, we have the Mario Advance games. This is a remake of Mario 2. Super Mario World, Yoshi's Island. So 
Sorry for the background noise, guys. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit, which is a very underrated uh, Mario Kart game. I like that you can actually plant your um, red shells behind you and they detonate when uh, somebody passes it. So that's, that's something that was never seen in another Mario Kart. I don't know why they didn't continue with that. That was a cool feature. And Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, another great Mario RPG game. Uh, Pokemon Leaf Green, Pokemon Fire Red, which are remakes of Red and Blue, or Red and Green in uh, Japan. Uh, Wario Land 4, which is a excellent title. Uh, one of my favorite Wario games. Probably my actually my favorite Wario game. Uh, so yeah, those are amazing games there. And the last three is the Generation 3 Pokemon games. Uh, that kind of look like uh, Jolly Ranchers. They're see-through. Uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Ruby and Sapphire were very similar. And Emerald was like uh, Pokemon Yellow or Pokemon Crystal. Um, so yeah, I really <laughs> I spent countless hours playing these games. I think Saf yeah, Sapphire was definitely my first one that I got when I was young. Uh, Really enjoyed the Generation 3 games, uh, really fun, but uh, as IGN would say, too much water, I guess, but I, I had a ton of fun with them. And my actually only boxed Game Boy Advance game is Super Mario Advance. So I'm glad to have this one, it's pretty cool artwork on it. So yeah, that's my only box game. So that's it for the games. Now on to some uh, manuals. Uh, the SP instruction booklets. Uh, a few of them I got the other day. Jimmy Neutron. Namco Museum. Tetris Worlds. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Combo Pack Sonic Advance and Sonic Pinball Party. Uh, Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2, and Super Mario World Map, this is pretty cool, open it up and get the, like, the overworld of Dinosaur Land, on the flip side he got Bowser and his minions, Boo, Koopa, uh, Wigglers, Goombas, Koopa Kids, Koopalings, Womp, Mini Rhinos, Rexes, Bowser, Charging Chuck, Rip Van Fish, that's a great name, uh, Urchins, Magic Koopas, Boo Buddies, so yeah, that's a pretty cool little poster, I guess you can call it. So yeah, that's my collection, guys. Uh, I think I'm at around 80 or so games for the Game Boy Advance ton of systems so yeah i hope you guys enjoy please thumbs up the video and uh subscribe to my channel if you haven't already all right guys later